Organic Key Share. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing fantastic. I like just immediately got butterflies <laughs> about filming this video. I don't know. Now I'm nervous. I was fine until I hit record and now I feel like butterflies about talking about this. I don't know why I'm nervous. Oh my gosh. But how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing fantastic. There's something on my heart to share with you guys and all of a sudden I'm nervous and I hope I don't end up getting emotional I don't know if I'm nervous because I think I'm getting emotional or what but I really wanted to share this with you guys because one of my subscribers and I had a conversation a few days ago and it really really hit home for me it really touched my heart and I just want to say also that I so you know who you are I so appreciate you sharing that with me and your comments like I hope I don't start crying your comment was just so <sighs> it warmed my heart and being that I'm a very small channel in the sense of YouTube success, I never really expected to have such deep connections with my subscribers because I'm a small channel. But guys, you guys are so awesome. Those of you who comment and let me know that my videos help you or that you look up to me or that I'm inspiring or that I let like I you guys see something in me that I oftentimes don't see in myself. And it's so encouraging. It's so encouraging and it makes me want to keep going and it's just, it's just so sweet. And I just really, from the bottom of my heart, really, really appreciate it. Like, y'all have no idea what your words mean. Like, anybody who's ever taken the time to comment, do the sun just went away. Anybody who's ever taken the time to comment and just show their appreciation or just encourage me to keep going and all of that, like, I really genuinely appreciate it like so much so much i don't take it lightly i just want to encourage you and let you know that i love you i'm thinking about you i'm praying for you and thank you for sharing your story with me so i want to talk a little bit just a smidge a small bit a small bit guys about my bout with depression and anxiety i've talked about it here and there that i dealt with anxiety in my past and i did go through a season of depression kind of two one was induced by something traumatic the other one was just kind of life and so the first one i'm not really gonna get into because it was understandable why I was depressed but the second one kind of came out of nowhere and so that's the one I really want to talk about and as well as the anxiety that I was dealing with I was I'm speaking in past tense I was very I was a very anxious person anxiety could trigger in me fairly easy a lot of it had to do with fear fear of unknown fear of being outside the will of God fear of making a mistake fear of everything fear of life fear of wearing the wrong outfit like I literally had anxiety about picking what I was going to wear that's how bad my anxiety was at one point like I would literally pick something and just be like I should wear this God doesn't want me to wear this and it would come out of nowhere to the point where it's just like I didn't even want to leave because I was afraid that I was gonna make the wrong decision of what to wear yeah okay so uh, <laughs> I was very anxiety prone I had a few panic attacks and those were horrible I know people use the word panic attack and throw panic attack here and there oh I had a panic attack I almost had a panic attack when you have a panic attack you know that it's not a joking matter you know that it's horrible it's horrifying I've dealt with two or three in my life and they were really really bad I always had chest pains always feeling anxious always feeling a tightening in my chest like I, I dealt with that for a long time and a lot of it like I said was stemmed in fear the thing I was most afraid of is making a mistake because I had come off of making a really really bad mistake and I was afraid to repeat that I was afraid to go through the things that I went through before I was just afraid afraid of everything afraid of not being able to amount to God's will to God's plan for my life uh, feeling like a failure just a lot of anxiety so then in 2000 and when did my brother get married I think 2016 in 2016 I was dealing with depression I, it wasn't very long I know some people deal with depression for years it was only a few months span but I did deal with depression it kind of came on off of just a lot of anxiety and then also just not really caring for how my life was going not being able to control that season of my life because God had me in a very much 
stale, not much things are happening, coasting type of place. I fought it and fought it and fought it and fought it and fought it. And I couldn't get out of that place because literally that is where God needed me to be. Not necessarily depressed, even though he used my depression for his glory, but in the same sense, he wanted me to be in this place of not much is happening. Like you're living a life where you wake up and you do the same thing and you go to sleep and you repeat. And there was so much more I wanted for myself at that time where it just wasn't God's timing. So I just had to deal with being where God wanted me to be. And I fought it so much that once I finally released and realized I can't get myself out of this place, I started to fall into a depression. And I didn't really know it was depression at first. I just knew that I was always tired. I was always mentally exhausted. I was always kind of short fused. <laughs> I'm with patience with people. When I really started to know that there was something wrong with me was when I realized a lot of things were going undone. People would place demands on me that normally I would be able to do. Like I do a lot of things in the church, my church in the ministry that I'm involved with. It's kind of gotten scaled back because my dad was kind of like, okay, you got a lot on your plate. Let's, let's take some stuff out. Thank God. I was involved in the mission ministry. I was involved in media, which I still am. I was involved in a lot of different things in the church. And so people would be like, oh, Keish, I remember I need this video or Keish, I need this slideshow or Keish, I need you to contact these people or Keisha I need you to do this do that do this do that and a lot of that stuff was going undone they would keep coming back to me like oh you know are you done with this are you done with that it's been a month like have you finished this have you completed that and I was just like no I'm, I'm sorry I, I haven't I haven't even started I just remember not feeling able to do much and I remember telling some of my friends like if you don't hear from me sorry <laughs> even with texting back and just engaging i told them it was too exhausting to hold a conversation that's where i was it was just too exhausting to even mentally put words together to send out a message like i couldn't do it and so i would leave messages on red and just not contact people back and i was just in this dark place that was just like this dark cloud that was hovering over me and for a long time i didn't even realize that i was depressed i was just thinking this is life I don't like it and I'm tired and I'm frustrated but there's nothing I can do about it so it is what it is I never really lost hope in God and I always still loved him and, and, and knew he was there but I just figured this was just something that was in my life and it is what it is so I went on for a few months I want to say about three to four months I was feeling this way and it was just getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and I remember praying like you know God I need the strength. I need the strength to be able to do these things. I, I need to get these tasks done. I'm at school at the same time. So thank God, God is so good that that season I was I only, I think it was over the summer. I only was taking two classes and my two classes were super easy. So I didn't have to take much. I didn't have to do much in those classes. So I was able to kind of be depressed and, and not affect my studies. Thank God, God is so awesome that that's the time that it happened. It didn't happen when I was taking finance or something like that because God knew I needed all my attention on finance to pass it. I just wasn't myself and I just realized like, dang, I'm not myself and I'm I, I'm stuck and I feel, I feel horrible. And so one Sunday we were having church and it was like a deliverance Sunday and people were going up and telling testimonies and telling things that they felt God was saying. My dad, he ended up not preaching and it was just like a, a free, awesome service. And I remember being there and at that time I wasn't worshiping much I just didn't feel the drive to yes I honor God I love God but that worship that deep worship was non-existent that was another thing that had me frustrated because it's just like I want to spend time with God I want to be intimate with God I want to I want to be close to him but I I can't find it <laughs> I can't find it at that point I was excited for everybody but I was just kind of like I don't feel it you know I don't feel it I see it I hear it but I don't feel it and I just remember sitting there and I remember I felt like I heard a word for the congregation and I fought it because I'm like I'm not in anybody's place to be delivering any kind of this says the Lord so I'm gonna sit my behind right here and I'm not gonna say anything but I kept feeling the urge to just go up there and I remember asking God like God you know what I'm going through right now you know how I feel and I, I can't go up in front of this congregation saying what thus you say and feeling like trash on the inside feeling so depressed feeling so down i was just battling like god should i go up there i don't want to go up there finally i went up there and i was just like okay this is what thus says the lord amen so i gave the word that i had to give and then i just remember feeling like this is your chance this is your chance to 
ask for help, to ask for prayer, to let them know what you're going through. Nobody really saw that I was really going through anything. It was just kind of like, she's fine. Because I didn't talk about it. I didn't tell anybody I was going through anything. I was just kind of closed off to myself and just like, don't bother me. But I didn't tell anybody that I was going through. I was just up there and I was just like, all right guys, well, now that I said that, I battled coming up here because y'all I'm really going through something. And I just can't, I can't take it anymore. I'm drowning. And I told them that like I feel like I'm drowning and I can't breathe and I need help and I need prayer and I need y'all to pray for me because I can't do it and I literally broke down on the stage with the mic just broke down crying and uh, I don't want to start crying now then you know the, the ladies of the church they came up and they started praying for me my dad came up he started praying for me and everybody's just praying like the whole congregation in that moment just started praying for me and they're just praying and praying and praying and I'm bawling my eyes out because I'm just like I don't want to I don't want to do this anymore I would pray I'm like God help me like take me out of this place I don't want to be depressed I don't want to be in this place and I would pray and nothing would happen I would pray and nothing would happen I'm praying and nothing would happen and I'm just like God ooh, when am I gonna get out of this place in that moment like when I first broke down I'm just like I hope this works <laughs> like I, I hope that this is the day but it might not be because I feel like I've prayed and nothing's happened so I was just there in that moment just 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 weak weak and powerless and so they prayed for me and prayed for me and the people started speaking words over me and one of the main ones that stood out was my brother he's very quiet so he doesn't talk much and so for the fact that he actually spoke was very deep and brought so much awareness and he was like the enemy this was like his last ditch effort to just completely destroy you make you just curse God and die like one of those I forget God forget this walk forget all of this because it's hard God is not giving me what I want God keeps not answering my prayers every time I tell God this is what I want he keeps telling me no and I have to keep dying the flesh and I have to keep sacrificing and I have to keep staying in this place that I don't want to be and the enemy's just plan was for me just to be so frustrated with God and so overwhelmed that I just said forget God forget this walk and just leave the faith and he was like this was like his last big effort to get you to forget God but but God and God is not gonna allow that to happen and because you have stayed faithful and you did not let go of God's hand and you did not let go of the faith God is gonna help you and he's going to restore you and this is gonna be the beginning of the best days of your life and I remember when I heard that it just rang so true to me and I just remember just feeling relief and feeling like oh finally it is over and I understand what's going on now like I actually understand why I'm being attacked and why I'm in this depression and why I'm dealing with all this stuff and so it was just so much awareness and I just felt so good from that day honestly I felt a hundred times better and I really could see God's hand in my life to just restore me and to take away the depression take away the darkness restore me back to peace and back to working order where I'm not feeling this heaviness and this frustration so I guess what I wanted to tell you guys is if you've ever dealt with this or you're dealing with this now I wish I could tell you that there's a time frame but there's not some people are in this for years while other of us are in it for months or some of us are in it for days it just depends and when God is ready to take you out he is going to take you out and not to lose hope. Don't think that this is going to last the rest of your life. This is going to last forever. It happens to the best of us. It happens to the ones of us that are, feel like we're the strongest in the faith. Life throws things at us, whether it's an attack, whether it's self-induced, whatever the case is. If you just hold on to hope that at some point God is going to take you out, that's all you need. Sometimes day after day after day after day, it's just darkness and hardship. But if you just keep the faith and the hope that God is going to take you out, you will make it. This will not last always. I can promise you, if you are a believer and you believe in God, what you're going through will not last forever. He will bring you out and change you like that. I'm telling you, after that Sunday, I did not feel those feelings anymore he completely erased it from my life but because it was the timing for it I had prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and it just wasn't the timing for me to be shifted finally it was that day where time met time and God's timing met chronological timing for me to be set free and delivered and instantaneously I felt better God is gonna use it for his glory use it for purpose you just have to not lose hope in God he sees you he hears you 
but it's in his will. You're in his will. You're under his sovereignty. You're under his love. And he's going to use this for your better. All things work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose. Just don't lose hope. Don't lose hope in him. He will bring you out. I don't know how long it's going to take, but he will bring you out. And I just pray that you don't lose hope. I, I did it and he brought me out and now I'm whole and best I've ever been in my life. That's all I got to say about it, guys. I wish I had more for you, but that's the best piece of advice I can give you is just don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. It's not easy. It's not easy, but you will make it and you will be happy again and you will live your life feeling full again and feeling content again and feeling like hopeful again it's just a process and we all have to go through our different various processes we don't understand why but if we continue to trust god like look at joseph he was thrown in prison for an act he did not commit yet god used that to catapult him towards his destiny we often don't understand why God does these things. He spent 13 years in prison for something he didn't even do, yet he remained faithful and God brought him out of that place and made him second in command over all of Egypt. Like, we don't know why God is doing what he's doing, but we have to trust him, not lose hope, and believe that one day when his time, his timing meets our timing, everything will work together for our good. I hope this is a blessing unto you. My love, I'm praying for you. I love you. Thank you for sharing this with me. I completely understand what you're going through. Just don't lose hope. And I pray that for everyone out there. Don't lose hope. I'm actually late for a dress fitting, so I gotta go. I will see you guys on the next video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. Go ahead and click that subscribe button so that we can become family. Also, give this video a big, big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And lastly, if you're not following me on social media, all my handles will be down below in the video description box. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. I don't know if you know this. Beautiful things don't need attention.